trying to think of something to say. Catchy, catchy opener. Something to razzmatazz the people so that they see this and they're like, oh, I want to, I want to stay and watch this video on this bike that he's got. But nothing's coming to mind. All right, guys, Johnny Nerd out here. We got another custom e-bike build for you. This one is the Marin Kentfield One. This is a nice commuter bike. It's a solid bike too. And these, these ones go brand new for about 500 bucks. So you could do a whole build setup for 1200 bucks and have a killer e-bike, you know, depending on how you outfit it. We went with a 750 watt motor. We went with a Slim Shark 52 volt 14 amp hour battery pack. So he just wanted to do a, a basic build on this one. He's like, I don't want anything really fancy. We just put a, a, a light on and a gear shift sensor. So those four things, motor, battery, gear shift sensor, and a headlight. That's pretty much all we did to it. And this thing is a killer bike. Still leaves a lot of blank canvas to add like accessories. You could put a rear rack on this thing, turn this into a really good commuter. You could upgrade the brakes to make, to the hydraulic disc brakes. The ones that we carry, they're like 89 bucks or something. And they have the built-in brake cutoffs. So those would, those, that's what I would recommend. But right now, as is, it's still a great bike. It's got 700 C tires. This is a large frame. He's a tall dude. You can see this seat is up high. <laughs> like, this, is, this would not be safe for me. I'd look like a clown if I came to a red light. But yeah, we went with a 600C color display. This is the new version of the 500C, pretty much. It's a little bit bigger. Same form factor for the most part, like where it's got the three buttons on the side here, but it's a, it really brings the 500C color display into 2024. Uh, it's just It's a higher resolution display. It gives you a lot more options. The menu system is a lot more in depth so that's nice yeah this one comes with a belt and yeah you know this is a good solid bike people are always like what's a good bike to start with i don't want to spend too much money 500 bucks this is a great commuter bike you know I, for mountain bikes i always say it's the trek marlins you know that's another great one this would be the one for the commuter i would say the marin uh, kentfield there's a lot of other bikes too but this one would be right in there for hey i want a good quality bike but i don't want to break the bank 500 bucks brand new probably find one of these secondhand for you know 60 percent of that so just keep that in mind if you're okay looking for used stuff um, i'm not going to do a performance test on this unfortunately today i know i hear the the crowd booing me right now it's been raining and uh i don't want to get this bike all this is like a brand new bike i don't want to get it all muddy to give it to the customer if this was my own personal bike i would trust me you got to believe me you guys i'm not going to lie to you hopefully you guys like this and uh, again, this is a very simple, simple build. This is a 44 tooth chain ring. Just went with an all purpose chain ring on here. You know, I always recommend start with like the 44 if you're not sure. And then if you find, well, this is geared way too tall, way too small, then change your chain ring from there. A chain ring is the cheapest thing to fix to boost your performance. And you can see this is just a, I think this is a seven speed. Yeah, it's a seven speed. It's got the tourney derailleur, not super high end stuff, but it's Shimano. So it's going to be fine. Seven speeds perfect amount of gears if you really want to change it swap out the cassette for something different with a bigger gear ratio all right hopefully the hopefully you guys like this video again sorry i'm not doing a top speed test i apologize but if you guys want any more help on your own personal bike or if you need components you need stuff like that go to johnnynerdout.com i stock all these parts and i also do consultations if you need help building your bike book a consultation all right later guys All right, maybe something will come later. Ugh. I always wait to ch check the tire size. Why? All right.